What's great about these Mr. Cool DIY units and new construction is that you can bring the line sets out anywhere you choose, not strictly on the outside of the building. So I brought them down on the inside wall cavity here and brought them out of the building here. Um, siding isn't on the building yet, unfortunately, but I've made some arrangements for it already. So I just have a, uh, I think this is a range hood vent from Home Depot that's going to seal nicely around uh, the siding and kind of clean up these line sets coming out of the building and also keep um, weather off of them. Not that that's a problem back here. Um, the signal wires come out from there to drive the head units. The power's coming out here. And eventually I will clean up the ceiling. I just put a quick dirty ceiling on there to kind of keep the snow, any snow and rain off of the unit. But we should have pretty good circulation around here and it shouldn't be going anywhere either about 18 inches off of the ground in case I get any really significant snows here. This is a 27 kilo BTU, sorry, 36 um, kilo BTU unit. And it has space for four zones. Um, one, two, you can see them. One line set, two line sets, three and four. One thing I didn't know is that if you have a bigger unit, like a 24K head inside, there needs to be an adapter put onto here first before the bigger line set. They might look the same here, but the bottom set is actually slightly larger. And the bottom line set, uh, the largest line set or largest emitter inside needs to be connected to the bottom port, at least on this unit. I'm not sure about the other units. All right, can't wait to see how it works.